To learn means to be in a state of play. To live a life of curiosity, a life of inspiring one another, a life of connecting with each other, and a life of real conversations. Welcome to Natural Learning. Hello and welcome. Um, yeah, so we're in lockdown, uh, or nearly, uh, here in New Zealand. Uh, lockdown fully starts at midnight tonight. And it was quite the news to hear on Monday that the schools would be closing down. Um, and this has got many people asking on social media and other places as well, you know, what now? Um, do we homeschool? Do we just treat this as a holiday? Uh, what do we do? How will my children keep learning? And the thing is that there has certainly been a lot of advice from various people and there's certainly some good stuff coming out there as well. And so just, yeah, look at what's out there and allow yourself to be drawn to something that you really, really like. Um, there's plenty of websites being shared, all sorts of things like that. So if you're drawn to something, go for it, you know, uh, check it out. Um, but what I'd like to share with you over the next few weeks is the idea of natural learning. And this might be the best opportunity at the moment that you have to really dig into this idea, and I really encourage you to do so. My aim is to share a video like this with you every weekday um, and if you have the desire to explore this idea of natural learning more then I encourage you to join me over these next lockdown weeks. But first, let's tell you more about what I mean by natural learning. So when I talk about natural learning I'm not talking about a method or a program or anything like that. What I'm essentially going to be sharing with you is how human beings learn. Really how human beings have always learned. And through understanding the principles and how we learn as human beings, we'll be better able to look at what's happening within your family, and then you'll be able to apply the principles to your family context in the way that you see best. Um, so natural learning is also the idea that learning happens quite naturally, <laughs> impulsively even. Learning is not something that needs to be forced or manipulated into people. Our common misunderstanding of learning is that we need to make people learn. Uh, because we think that we must make people learn, we often resort to a variety of manipulative or coercive tactics. And so the thing about natural learning is, the attractive thing about natural learning is that we come to realize that the best learning happens when in fact, we don't use force, we don't seek to manipulate, we don't bribe or use rewards, we don't cajole, we don't threaten with punishments, we don't coerce. We just let go of all of those things. And instead, the things that I, I will share with you, are the four key ingredients really, which are to show curiosity about the world and each other, to co-inspire each other, to connect with each other, and have conversations with each other. If you like, you can think of these as the four C's of natural learning. So curiosity, co-inspire, connect, and conversations. There's also really a fifth ingredient that is not only the way that we connect together as human beings, but also undergirds our whole thinking. And that is to be in a state of playfulness. The idea of play can seem a bit frivolous to us adults sometimes, but it's more important than we might think. Uh, the naturalist Carl Gross put forward the theory that those animals whose way of life depends the least on rigid instincts and most on learning are also the most playful. And that is certainly the case for us human beings. Uh, we are a learning species and so we all must also be a playful species. We need more play in our learning and reach a more playful state of mind. So learning is not about flogging yourself with disciplinary measures, but we actually learn more when we are in a joyful and a playful state. So that's what I hope to share with you, and I hope to share with you how to reach that state. Um, but don't worry, I'm not just wanting to give you dry and boring lectures, because that's not what learning is about. Uh, I'll also be sharing some practical, fun, and playful things to do that will help stimulate your curiosity, become inspired by others in your family, as well as being an inspiration, connect with your family at a deeper level, and to have conversations that are engaging, fun, and meaningful. So for today, if you're in New Zealand, all the best as you get your final preparations for the lockdown sorted. 
Um, if you're already in lockdown around the world, I hope things are going fine and there's still plenty of fun and laughter um, in your house. But yeah, we've got some interesting times ahead of us. Uh, so hope you can join me tomorrow as we really jump into this. And I hope these videos can become really useful for you. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoyed it and you think other people you know would be interested in a natural learning approach, then please share this video. And lastly, if you would like to chat to me personally about natural learning and how it can happen in your family, then message me on Facebook or jump on my website, frankeducation.nz, and book yourself a call. Hey, thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow, and we'll head into it. All right, cheers. See you then. Bye.